This program contains coarse language, mature themes, and the strong opinions of Dan Savage. Viewer discretion is advised. The most political issue related to sex and sexuality today, it's the issue that links everything we fight about in this country around sex and sexuality. Your right to control your own body. And non-procreative sex. That's kind of what's at the bottom of every fight in our country that's where sex has been politicized. And when you look at every issue where politicians are politicizing people's sex lives, it comes down to slut shaming, it comes down to, to non-procreative sex, sex for pleasure, birth control, abortion, gay people. These things are all linked. Women's right to equal pay under the law, even that is linked. So I would say that's the issue. The issue is the fact that because of uh, you know, religious traditions and how they've warped us sexually for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, people can't seem to reconcile themselves to the fact that sex is for pleasure almost invariably. Humans are one of the few species that have many, many, many sexual contacts for every live birth. We have 1,100 sexual contacts for every one baby. What is sex for, for humans? Is it for that one baby? Well, then why don't we mate like other mammals do? Once in a great while and only when we're in heat, only when we're ovulating, ladies, why do we mate constantly and all the time? Well, it's because our sex lives, like our society and our culture, are more complicated, and they do other, it does other things. What else does sex do? It brings us together, it creates a bond, it cements a bond, it creates family. It does something else in our lives. And, you know, people sometimes will condemn gay people because we don't have babies. We, do, we have sex for all the same reasons straight people do, except once or twice. A straight couple over the course of their life, unless they're idiots like the Santorums or the Duggars, are going to have one or two or three children tops. A gay, but they're going to have a lot of sex because sex is doing something in their relationship that isn't just about knocking out babies. It's about bonding those two people to each other. It's about pleasure. It's about release. It's about intimacy. It's about all that for gay people too. And every once in a while... Gay people can go adopt if they want to have that baby experience. Religion rushed into the void to explain before we knew anything about sex or the movement of the planets or anything else or the tides. And we've accepted that religion got the movement of the planets all wrong. And we've let that go. Religion has let that go. Religion has not yet ceded sex to people who know what sex is about, to the scientists of sex who have discovered what it's for and, and how it actually works. Send me your questions, your comments, your videos, and please make sure to subscribe to Take Part TV so you'll get all my new episodes delivered right to your inbox. And so my Catholic soul tells me we're going to lose, um, but that loss will set us up for a future victory.